And uh, right now, well, you know, if you watch my videos, you kind of see that uh, I don't have necessarily a particular direction that I go in when I record these videos. I kind of just come up with things as I think of them. And, you know, you know, I get excited when I talk about uh, Glocks, Berettas, uh, Rugas, stuff I got, concealed carrying, you know, and you may be excited as a watcher to look these guns up. You're into concealed carrying, uh, you're into buying guns, collecting, whatever. But, you know, one th a theme that I really go by is the, per the personal protection thing. You know, and I've talked about a lot of that. But right now, what I want to talk about is another thing that's really important if you want to consider concealed carry. And that's if someone attacks you, will you shoot a human being? Do you know? And that's a real, it's a real question that you need to ask yourself. Will you shoot a human being? You know, we'll go to the range, shoot a thousand rounds at pieces of paper. Um, you know, cop clean, you know, whatsoever, if it's other types of targets, whatever, but will you shoot a human being? Do you, can you live with that on your conscience? Especially if you shoot an individual and you potentially, you could, you actually kill someone. Can you live with that on your conscience? You know, and it's because it wouldn't make sense to get you a firearm and you haven't thought about this, you know, because, you know, obviously a person says, yeah, I want to protect myself, but well, you got to protect yourself to what degree, you know, because a lot of times, you know, if you pull a firearm on someone, you may have to kill them. You may have to kill them. I mean, you shoot to disable, but. You know, you shoot them in the leg and they're still attacking, you know, you shoot to disable. And the shots that you place as disabling shots may kill an individual, you know. So, you know, this is something that you really need to think about before you, you know, before you buy a gun and then you get in a situation and you pull it out and you're just like, I don't want to shoot nobody. You know, because there are situations that, you know, the police, <laughs> that you'll have to let the police handle. You'll have to wait for it. But, you know, you don't want to put yourself in more danger because I feel like if I was, if someone pulled a gun on me and I felt as if they were hesitant on shooting me, I'm definitely going to shoot them because I don't want to die. Not with youth in my body, you know, whatsoever. But, you know, you got that's a realistic question. Will you actually shoot somebody? Will you pull that trigger knowing that you're shooting potential somebody's brother, somebody's father? You know, are you going to think about it in that sense? Or are you going to think about, you know, I'm trying to protect my own life? And it's very realistic. You have people that will go and buy a gun and not even want to shoot nobody. That is crazy as it sounds. But it is true. So I would feel like it would be a waste of your time. And it'll be a waste of your money. To even start. I mean, you know, even if you buy guns just to go shooting. You know, if you buy guns just to shoot. I don't I don't know, you know, I, I, I can't speak on a logic behind that. If you buying it just to shoot. And, you know, you're not going to protect yourself with it. I don't know that that it may be that mentality out there, but it does. It wouldn't make sense to me. I don't have any. I don't say I'd have a standpoint on that, but I will say this. You know, if you're going to get into firearms, get personal protection, CHL, whole nine yards whatsoever. Just ask yourself the question, will you actually shoot a human being? You know, make sure you've thought about that. And that's really one of the first things you should think about, you know. But it's out there. And 
it blows my mind to think about that, but it is. But be real, be safe.